Dead, the show where the backward compatible crew and their guests tell improvised stories through role playing games. The second season of Roll With It is a five episode scenario titled River of Time, an original time travel setting created by Will Parsons. It is run with the systems in Atomic Robo the Role Playing Game by Evil Hat Productions. Episode 1, Time's Mouth. Three weeks ago, you're sitting here watching television, clicking through the channels. Up comes JFK. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. A couple of people standing behind a desk, one is holding a book. Interviewer looks at him and says, So this, this book you have, it's not actually about the Amazon River Basin then, no. No, not at all, no. You see, that would be ridiculous. Have you noticed how the proliferation of technology is way out of control? The difference between the pyramids and the ziggurats is centuries, centuries of technology. Yet we're jumping from automobiles to airplanes. The span of invention of an airplane to landing on the moon is less than a lifetime, less than a hundred years. Very somber newscaster. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for interrupting your program. I've just been handed a bulletin. It seems that there's been an accident on the lunar colony. This was approximately 20 minutes ago. We have verified that it is not, in fact, an assault by the USSR. It is actually a meteor impact. It has collapsed several of the lava tubes where the lunar citizens have been living. Reports have already shown we know of at least one name of a deceased citizen. We believe that three of the 12 are no longer with us. The one confirmed, we've already contacted her family, and uh, citizen Eva Armstrong is, is no longer a member of the Lunar Colony. As we have more developments, we will keep you apprised. This is a very sad day in our history. Present day. Do you have that camera? I do. Cool. You are sitting in an office building, basically doing your job. You're you're a physicist for a a larger corporation. When you notice a very strange character run through the cubicles, he just sprints through and heads down another hallway. He is being pursued by um, three other individuals all coming from different directions. You are those three individuals. John Titer, you know who this man is. Um, At least, you know what he is. You are fully aware that the device that he holds is the one you've been trying to stop. And it is up to you to get to him before he uses it. You know that this is where you're supposed to be. Uh, Bernard Hutton has a leaning. He knows that something big is going to happen here, and that it involves the strange, the strange men running down these hallways in this typical office building. So I, I don't actually know John. No, no. Okay. You have a feeling, but personally, you probably haven't met him yet. Okay. You know John. You've been well. You say you know John. You've met him, you've talked to him, you've spent time with him. His story is never straight. It changes all the time. So I know nothing? No, you, you know him. You know, you know his claims. Um, you know that he's been trying to stop this man. This is where you find yourself. 
you hear security calling um, calling down the hall, saying that there's been a there's been a breach. There are men in the building who are not supposed to be there. So it wasn't just someone forgot to refill the coffee pot. Is that what caused the last the, the, the last chase through the uh, okay. cubicles? Yeah. yeah. Okay, how, how far is John from the person that he's chasing? Um, the three of us are not about to run into each other like Three Stooges style from two different no. angles, are we? No, no, not at all. Um, you just saw him exit these cubicles and head for the stairwell. What's he wearing? What are we wearing? Which, which guy? Can the, I man, the man we're chasing. Can I? Oh yeah. Well, that's a good question. Standard. Um, is it clothing that fits this period? Business casual. Um, the year is 2017. Okay. Everything looks like it's like 1983. Uh, that's a good year. Yeah. yeah. So you're wearing business suits, that kind of a thing. We're wearing a uh, pink popped collars, right? Like pink polo shirts with popped collars. You probably are. This you is probably not are. Now, is, this, is this my native time? Yes, this is all of your native time. Oh, really? Okay. Really? Probably. <laughs> Probably. I can't tell. <laughs> Yours not so much. Yeah. Can I, um, uh, can I, well, okay, since I'm almost there, um, is, can John just sort of, if I get to the stairwell, can I jump over the stairwell to try to get him, like, across the side? Do I have athletic skill? Is that okay. how it works? Uh, yes, yes, it would, that would be, uh, it's an overcome. Okay. So, go ahead and uh, or roll your athletic skill to overcome this. Um, As I do it, I say, yippee ki yay. <laughs> you leap over the banister, landing directly behind him. He shouts back at you, you have no concept of what you're doing, leave me alone, and sprints down, uh, sprints up or, or down around another flight of stairs. Get back here. I want him to think that he's about to run directly into me. All right. Um, I assume you're going to use your hallucinate skill? I am. Let's see. Actually, let's turn this into a challenge. Okay. Wow! I rolled four pluses, so I'm at an eight. So those of you chasing him, hear him yell out, and then hey, turn and slam into a door. He veered away from something. You know what it is, but you see him veer away, and instead of continuing down the rails, he slams into a side door and starts to open it. Giant letter B on this door. Are you following them? Um, I'm trying to do my work. I mean, they're causing a ruckus in the office. I'm sure security will handle it. Can I catch up to him at this point? Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to catch him. If you, if you try to grapple with him or anything like that, you will get him as he goes through the door. Yeah, I try to grab him. I'm trying to okay. catch up to him. Uh, go ahead and roll a flight. I grab him. Oh, 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 wow. You know, for every roll, there's an equal Spend a save roll. point, <laughs> use a re-roll. Can I? Is yeah. that how that works? Uh, yeah, you totally can. Okay. Choose an aspect that you, you would apply. Four negatives. Oof. Let's see. You know that this guy mm-hmm. is the key to what you're trying to do. Okay. Your Omega aspect would actually... Then my... Okay, yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to trying to make right. the alternative. So invoke alternative. your Omega aspect, and I do you want to just add to it, or do you want to re-roll? No, I have to re-roll. It's terrible. You can't do any worse. How about that? So I got a two, plus four, so six. He throws the door open and like spins as you run in and you just grab him. You latch on, landing around his knees, and hit the ground. Not so fast, cowboy. He kicks you away and tries to tries to free himself. But am I am I still holding on to him? Roughly, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um he's fumbling at something in his hands. Help me out over here. I need some help. You are helping him. He has been pursuing this guy because he has something. He hasn't been very clear on it, mm-hmm. but he has something. That he needs. Yeah, while you've got, while you guys have been leaping over stair rails and doing mind things at him, I've just kind of been in the background, walking behind you, and I'm just now walking up to you on the ground. It's like, oh, okay, is this the thing you need? And I kick it out of his hands. He's got a really tight grip on it. You're gonna need to. You're gonna need. By to kick it out of his hands, I mean step on his fingers a lot. No, he. Pulls it free as you're stomping on it, and um, gives one more concerted kick against you, not able to free himself. He says, you guys, you don't understand, you don't understand at all, and he slams his hand down onto one part of this thing. And there is a... best way to describe it is that it feels like you have been sucking on a penny for hours on end. You've got this copper taste in your mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of nasty, it doesn't feel very good. The world around you is fluctuating. In my upstairs, day, we call that being like it, you're being affected by it. Yeah, I was about to say actually, um, I've got a few devices in my uh, my cubicle that I've sort of been keeping um, from the lab. 
Um, and a few of them are starting to go off, and I'm starting to get all these strange readings, and I'm thinking, that something's happening here. There's a massive reading in the basement. Um, I need to the basement. As you're heading down there, I need every single one of you to roll temporal resilience. Can we create an aspect to affect temporal resilience, or...? If you want to, yes. Can I make an aspect and call it, like, time is my bitch to give me plus two temporal resilience rolls? Because I'm John Tyler. Actually, I will, I will allow this. <laughs> <laughs> I will allow this, because I can see how it can be used either way. For mine, I think it's going to be... Time moves differently for me. Okay. I'm actually, um... When I'm feeling the... Because I just rolled a zero. Okay. And I've got no resilience. But I'm feeling the effects of this, and I'm kind of freaking out. Like, I'm actually... Okay, time is moving now, and this is something's happening. So I'm going to use my Delphius device, um, my predictive algorithm, and I'm going to um, double the results of my plus while using one of my blanks, spending a fate point, to cancel that negative out. So now I've got a plus two. I'm either going to spend this to re-roll because I have a negative one, mm-hmm. or... Once per scene, I may take an action back and take a new action and add plus two to the new action. So what I'd like to do actually is empathy and flash back to the moment ago where he said, you guys don't understand, and actually say to him, help me understand, and engage him in conversation before he hits the button. I think that makes sense. So yeah, okay. go ahead and uh, depending on the, the quality of your role... All right, so there we go. That cancels it out. I'm at six. Okay. Help me to understand. Nothing that's happening today is making sense. In a glimpse, as he's hitting that, the time around you slows down. and gives you a moment of clarity to ask him this directly. Mm-hmm. He's shocked. He's not, like, he's hearing something that should not be happening. Mm-hmm. He says, where we are right now is not where we're supposed to be. And their deaths should not have happened. You are stopping me from fixing an end cuts. Whose deaths? It's going. Whose? Ed Cameron is now going to take a temporal consequence. Your life is flashing before you. It's not you. It's somebody else, but it is you. Like, there are things that are the same. You're still a physicist. You're still working on stuff. That project was still there. Um, But at the same time, it's somebody else. And it's like large portions of your life have been rewritten. So you need to take a consequence of new backstory. All of you, and he's coming down, he's coming down the stairs when, when this happens, are standing over the thing that before looked roughly like an 80s tablet. It's like a little laptop. It's a horrible, nasty thing. Um, mm-hmm. They exist. Look them up. Except monochrome, right? This room doesn't or... look any different. But your clothes are different. Like, you're not wearing a suit. You've got, like, a button-on shirt that's kind of open at the top. You look more business professional, Mm -hmm. but it's more like present-day reporters. Interesting. The tablet that looked 80s sitting in front of you is now as sleek as the tablets we have today. Is John still wearing his uh, pink popped collar? Polo John shirt? probably is, yes. Okay, so <laughs> John has <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm Seeing glad. that, I'm actually like, I reach into my pocket, pull out my Delphius device, and I'm just shocked at the way it looks. Yep. Um, because it looks so sleek and cool, whereas before it looked like kind of like a Game Boy with a bunch of wires coming out of it. But you also remember building it that way. Yes, which is stupid. You also remember building it the other way first. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, I'm guessing what happens to me? Do we perceive the, same... the change? Yes, you all fully remember before. Okay. And perceive this change around you. And we don't lose our brains because we resisted the time. Additionally, I'm having to change the situation. It's not space age anymore. It's not space age. Oh, really? Yep. It is now the information age. Welcome to the real 2017. Not the 80s 2017. (laughs) You find yourself standing over a tablet. The man you were chasing is gone. What's on the tablet? have changed... Uh, the room looks roughly the same, except for a few devices inside it. Cabling and such is all different. I, but I, I, I'm still holding this guy, though, aren't I? No, no, he's vanished. Oh, he disappeared he's when he gone, hit that. Gone. I pick up the tablet. Is it locked? Like, does it have a locked screen? There, there's a there's not really a lock screen on it. There okay. kind of is, but it's a waiting input. We've got to be careful with this thing, Victor. I type slash or I touch the tech. Is it like a text input? There is a text input, yes. Uh, slash help. It says, does not recognize command. 
Uh, question mark. Slash question mark. Command not recognized. Mm, Victor, you do you know what you're doing with this thing? It's very dangerous. You have probably yeah, 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 yeah. now. In a stupor, but you're there. Yeah. Oh, hold on. So we, I, we don't know who, who Doc is, right? Right. Hey, wait a minute. Who are you? Bernard Hutton. Reporter at large. What's your purpose here? Um, I meant to be here. For what purpose? For what reason? I was hoping you guys could tell me that. I was trying to stop this device from being activated, but it looks like it's too late. Everything's changing. It's not the way it's supposed to be. It is changed. Can you understand this device? I've never you know seen what this. Is? I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It looks like something out of science fiction. Well, it's in English. I mean, it's typing in English, so I mean, it's not that hard to understand. Uh, let's try on. Looking at the device, there's what appears to be a clock, large countdown timer with a set of different dates. Um, Fixed dates. Not like like you is can it try, you can shift them around. A couple of them you can shift around. One is fixed. The other two you can shift around. Uh, do you name? Then there is also what appears to be a list of extra dates. Any of the dates stand out to me? Uh, some of them would. Is today's date one of the day, dates as well? Today's date is one. Yes, it's is, the last one. Is the is one of the dates the date that the moon colony got hit by a meteor? Nope. It's one no. of the dates of the JFK shooting? Uh, the dates you're seeing on it as they go, one of the dates is... The JFK shooting? Yeah. Some of the previous ones are also 1954 and 1985. The one on the right is listed as 2013. It's set off onto its own side. And then uh, the list on the left is the one that's, that you can adjust. Does it look like a history list? Like, like these are the last three places it's been? It does. Okay. Uh, and the list just keeps going back with a stream of dates. Oh, man. Uh, January 31st, 2013, enter. It says, are you sure? Victor, yes. Victor, what are you doing? So before you, before you can press the button, I walk in. Um, and am I allowed to make up what my backstory changes? Um, somewhat. Most of what it is is you remember the differences. Mm -hmm. Like... The Cold War ending in 1991. Mm. You remember the development of the integrated circuit and its, its advancement um, in popular technology. Okay. I'm going to walk in and ask, so are you guys the ones who... Yeah, I saw you earlier. Were you the ones who... Uh, button press. Unless someone stops him, he presses the button. Wait, wait, I, I, yeah, I wanted to try to stop him. Under telepath, I want to take the aspect I have a bad feeling about this. I like it. Yeah, I take it. Mm. So I'd like to roll telepath to see if this is a bad idea. Giving yourself an advantage on a four for that, what we can do here is we're going to create a temporary aspect for the scene. Mm -hmm. And it's that this is a really bad idea because you're not going where you feel you should go. Uh, the temporary aspect that I'm going to put in place is let's check our options first. This gets a free invoke. You get first dibs on invoking it, but you can allow anyone else to uh, invoke it. It's all shop. Stop him! That's a really bad idea. So I'm gonna try to knock out of his hand. I guess with Just combat. Is yeah. that a combat thing? Uh, I'm not gonna curious? resist. I mean, it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. I was curious. I didn't know what it does. You gotta be careful, yeah. Victor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, clearly this is advanced technology, far beyond any of our ability. Uh, is it? I don't know who you are, but I'm an information gatherer. Look where we are. Where are we? I'm not even sure where we are. So, oh, of, uh, what, of what building? So, actually, this is about where I walk in. Um, and actually, one of the proof changes I want to propose to my backstory is that now we're in the information age. Mm -hmm. um, I work for a company called Noodle. Um, and so, I've been working on that project, and that's how I've still been employed as a phys temporal physicist um, for an information age um, company. That is almost exactly what I was going to give you. Excellent. Is there a pattern that I can perceive uh, in, in the list of dates? You feel you should know some of these dates. Um, in fact, a lot of them are key turning points, like he said with uh, the Kennedy assassination. Mm -hmm. um, you know that 1954-ish was about the time that the Soviet space program began. Um, some of the more recent ones, the most recent one, 1985, you cannot think of anything. Nothing has happened. Let me take a look at those dates. Mm -hmm. So, who are you guys? Mm, Victor. Who are you? 
Uh, name's Ed. Ed Cameron. Um, Ed, what are you doing here? Well, that's what What's I'm, your purpose? Or is it Eddie? Ed, thank you. My purpose, that, that's what I was going to ask you, because you see you guys are on um, Noodle property right now, and I'm not sure how you got past security. I don't know what Noodle is. I just need this device. It's a start Gotta prevent thing. it from being destroyed. Are you time travelers? No. If we were time travelers, would we tell you we were time travelers? Of course not. Listen, maybe I can clear things up. My name's Bernard Hutton. I'm a reporter at large. Hi. Hi. I just met this guy. You would do you, know do you have a press name? pass? Um, yes. You would recognize that name. Okay. Listen, I feel like we've all been thrust here by destiny. Um, Wording. It's not something I talk about much, but I have a little twinkle, shall we say. And something is deeply, deeply wrong here. Maybe you felt it a minute ago? Yeah, I, yeah, I did. Okay, well... That's why I'm asking if you guys are... Something, the something wrong was that this... The button was pressed, this device has been activated. Changes have been made to the which, time stream. Which device? This one? Yes, that's the device. Maybe you can tell us what this thing is. Um, I'll take a look at it. Um, is there anything I could do to see if I recognize what it is, how it works? So technically, at this point, you should probably go into a brainstorm on it. So that all of you can work on solving what it is. Nice. Cool. Okay, so how do brainstorms work? Brainstorm works. Anyone who wants in on the brainstorm, pick, a, pick an appropriate mode off of your list. Something that fits for what you're trying to, what you're trying to do here. So I have science, but it just I've been going so time soldiery. You can use right. science. It's fine. And I've got a temporal physicist. I guess I'll use time ghost. That works. Because time ghost... I'm going to uh, moderate the conversation. I got it. I like it. <laughs> All right. So, so, the first thing you're going to do is try to establish the first fact. To do this, everyone picks a skill that they believe will give them information on what's going on. But make sure it's relevant to what you're trying to do. Whoever has the highest total is going to create the first fact. I'm going to use notice to really look at the... Okay. For the third time, look at the list Yeah, of that, I'm using it as well. Well, in that case, I'm going to go with rapport, since what I'm doing is moderating. Got it. I'm not actually trying to figure out what this thing is. I'm trying to keep peace in the family. Got it. I got and, six. And I'm going to go with engineering. Okay. Um, plus five. Eight. You want? All right. <laughs> then you get a success with style. And no one else has higher than an eight? Nope. No. I start writing stuff on the whiteboard. It's a smart board. Okay. Wait, where's where the, the whiteboard? In the basement? Where'd the whiteboard yeah. come from? <laughs> yeah. hey, it's noodle. We have whiteboards everywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah. There's smart boards everywhere. Exactly. And it wasn't, it wasn't actually a smart board until I needed it, and then it became one. The first fact is there is no undo button. You know, there's no previous button, if you will. But there, there, is, there is a keyboard, so you can still control Z, right? <laughs> And that's the thing, is Control Z does not work. Bad joke. It's an iOS tablet. <laughs> it doesn't have control. Oh, it's got to be that's, like Apple button mm -hmm. Z yeah. or whatever. It's command Z. Command. And it's actually yeah. on an iPhone. It's just you shake it and you hit undo. Uh, no, it's a tablet, not a phone. Not a tablet. So the first, Probably the same thing. The first fact, which is also an aspect I should point out, has been created. There's no undo button. So roll for the next fact. Ah. I got a five. Should I use one of my... I should, I should point points. out the way that this works. The condition for success is the vic is the level set by the previous roll. Oh. So to get a success this time, you need an eight. Oh wow! Sorry, Sorry about that. <laughs> so the diff if none of you succeed here, mm -hmm. you'll go to the third fact. The difficulty will drop to a three. Right, but then there is so there is no second fact in that case. There won't be a second fact. Correct? Oh, okay. Okay, I misunderstood. Yeah. In case it had to be three. Well, in that case, using paper chase, um, as well as my contacts, which are at a four, brings me to an eight because I rolled two. Hang on, guys. I know I know a guy who I think could help us. And I whip out my phone, which has now converted into this beautiful, sleek. It's a cyborg. Anymore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, using um, using Noodle Space Time, which of course is a feature that I have on my phone because it's a Noodle phone. Mm -hmm. Um, you're, you're in beta for that because you're one of like the uh, the tech reviewers. Yeah, for wherever you were. Oh well, yeah, I was doing I was doing a story on it. 
Yeah. Um, I'm surprised you don't have I, I dial my I dial my buddy up and, and video chat with him. <laughs> Are you phoning a friend? I am. I'm phoning <laughs> a friend. Um, it's this old man. He looks like um, he looks like Dumbledore, right? And he is just absolutely fascinated by what he's looking at and what he's seeing. And he starts asking these really, really great questions that we hadn't thought of. So we're revealing the fact that we have a time machine to... Uh... We haven't told him that. We haven't told... He, he, doesn't, he doesn't seem surprised or shocked or anything about the, you know, the, the shifts that have been happening. Um, but he's really interested in, in the fact that I'm standing in the new headquarters and, and showing him a new piece of technology. He would actually have no idea what you're talking about on those shifts. The fact of it is, it's unbreakable. The the device itself, the or device the changes itself, that it made? Okay. The device itself is not uh, made of tinfoil and glass like real tablets. It is it's made, fact, of, made of some kind of super alloy and unbreakable clear material. Early 2000s. Like yes. Now we can use it to block bullets, right? Transparent a all right, let's, so we got one more roll, right? Last roll. Right. And I should, should note, you tied it, which means that you get your victory, mm-hmm. but at a cost. I have listed the cost, but Uh-oh. it is currently a scene. Uh-oh. What is the uh, difficulty you're trying to hit? It's still uh, an eight, It's right? still an eight, because we sent it at eight. Thanks. Sorry. Okay. okay, I'm at a four. I'm going to go ahead and vote to get a plus two, because this will give me a nine. All right, you were rolling notice? Yeah. Third fact, then. It's gonna have to be something to do with the dates, I would assume, because that's what I'm trying to see. Let's see. Um, would you like me to point out the significance of a couple of the dates? Yeah, it might help. The most important one. The most recent see, change. 85 is the most important, yeah. right? Okay. You recognize a few years after 1985, the difference in your memories. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually going to compel your thing. Which is, in this situation, I'm setting up what your fact is going to be. That's kind of the cost of this compel, but it is giving you information you'll want. Okay, that's fine. Your blended okay. memories. It occurs to you the difference between before and now. In 1989, a man proposed a new infrastructure for communication. And off of technology developed by DARPA, the internet was created. Previously, that had not happened. Whoa, whoa, how did we store our cats? They just stayed at home. Guys, the internet was created. That's why things have changed. People are making these things called maymays, and they're usually about cats. I say this, by the way. That's exactly. Yeah, you do. It makes perfect sense, actually. With that's that's how I would I would think of the internet if I just suddenly learned about it. So you so you say I remember the difference between the timelines as well, right? But it's not it's not a benefit. Okay. Like you're you're in flux on what I say. Okay. Yeah. It's only a benefit there because I'm compelling it to kind of divert mm-hmm. the what his fact is. Cool. All right. So as an aspect for your fact, mm-hmm. what would you? Let's see. You could really <laughs> just list it as signs of the it, times. It changes time. Oh yeah, that's true. That makes sense. Okay. Those are the three facts that we have. The last thing we do. Everyone pick a skill that applies to sol- to creating a hypothesis off these three facts. You will roll whoever has the highest roll is going to develop the hypothesis because you have enough victories to do this. I got a four. Um, I've got a six, currently. I also have a six. I got three. Is it just whoever rolls highest gets to make the hypothesis? There's not a difficulty? Yeah, it's, it's whoever gets the highest, the most number of shifts. Mm-hmm. Because um, I was going to say, actually, that I could use my Delphius device to up that. That is true. Do you have to spend a fate point for that? I would, yeah, but I've got one. So, okay. Did you want to do that? So, yeah, I'll do that. So what I'm going to do is to double the results, and I also get to cancel a minus. So now I've got plus four to my plus five, so now it's a nine. The Delphius device now runs on Cyborg OS, and we've been developing in-house kind of like our version of Watson. It's actually way better than IBM's Watson. Um, we just haven't revealed it yet because it would just blow people's minds too much. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm able to use my Delphius device with the te- technology built into it to um, kind of analyze this thing. And what I've determined, this device takes us to the same date across several possible years. And each of those dates is very important to preventing some calamity that was supposed to occur if all these things aren't fixed. So can, can each day be Valentine's Day? So we're constantly going to Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then we can start like making jokes is, about is, that. Is today Valentine's Day? Um, yeah, sure. Sure okay. it is. Or Groundhog Day, if we want to do something like no. that. No. I want to get sued. Um, okay, we'll go with Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. All right, so your hypothesis aspect. Mm-hmm. 
I hate Valentine's Day, is that it's a temporal catastrophe aversion device. Correct. Got it. Next week on River of Time. If you go back and refer to periodicals, he doesn't exist. He just appeared roughly around 1986. It's the only way we've got. We've got to track him down. Do I have a bad feeling about this? Ed, that's an awful lot of coincidences related to you. Apparently so. Back off, Creed. They're the security team, and they knew you were coming. There's a big meeting that's about to go down. I'm delivering the prototype. Has anyone seen uh, Victor? Yeah. I vanish. Don't trust him. Don't trust the internet. Long story. This has been Roll With It, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The Game Master for River of Time is Will Parsons, running Atomic Robo the RPG by Evil Hat Productions. Ed Cameron is played by Chris Krueger. Victor Goddard is played by Brian McKittrick. Bernard Hutton is played by Adam Doc Bracken. And John Titer is played by Jim Weaver. Your producer is Chris Krueger. For the Backward Compatible crew, thank you for listening.